Hello wonderful viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm very happy to share with you my great inspirational stories. I'm very grateful for your prayers, love, and support. I pray that the good Lord will bless you all. The story you are about to watch is about a young woman who faced unexpected challenges in her marriage, in her relationship with her sister and in life in general. Please watch the whole story for better understanding. Also, let me know about what you think by leaving your comment in the comment section. Kindly like, subscribe, and share my videos. God bless you all. Michael, what's the problem? I've noticed you are not your usual self. What is going on? I hope it's not Kate and her untidiness. At this point, I wish that's the problem my brother. I'm just in a dilemma. I don't know what to do in this situation that I've found myself in. Just tell me what the problem is and stop beating around the bush. I think I'm in love with my wife's elder sister. What? How is that possible? Is not like you live in the same house with her. So how can you come to this conclusion? You remember I told you that on the day of our marriage introduction, the moment I set my eyes on her, I fell in love with her. Yes, I remember. But I thought you have killed that feeling you had for her so many years ago. You told me she got married. I couldn't kill the feeling I had for her because my wife put a very big beautiful picture of her and her sister in our bedroom. So I always see her beautiful face. Why didn't you tell your wife to remove it? I couldn't because I didn't want to arouse suspicions. That's not even the problem right now. My wife told me yesterday that her sister will be coming to stay with us for some time because she and her husband have divorced and she wants to be closer to her to help her heal faster from the heartbreak. How am I going to control my feelings for her now that she is so close to me? I told my wife to rent an apartment closer to us for her, but she was furious and said I don't like her family. So I had no choice but to agree for her sister to come and stay with us. Now, I don't know what to do. This is giving me headaches since morning. But Michael, you know as a married man, aside your wife, it's a sin to think of another woman in a passionate way. Now you are committing adultery without even having physical contact with your sister-in-law. I know very well. I just don't know how to handle this without causing a problem or misunderstanding between two sisters. I think you should talk to your wife, or your sister-in-law. I believe that feeling will disappear after talking about it with either of them. I don't think that's a good idea. I will figure out what to do. Let's get something to eat fast. Lunch break is almost over. A few moments later. Big sis, I'm very sorry for all that you went through. I still don't understand why your husband did that to you. Upon all the sacrifice you made for him. He is a wicked soul. Just concentrate and drive safely. I don't want to die young. I wonder who taught you how to drive, because it is obvious that person is a bad teacher. Big sis, I know you are trying to be tough, but deep down I know you are hurting. It is okay to cry sis. It can make you feel a bit better. I'm really hurting Kate. Why me? What wrong did I commit? It is not you. There is nothing wrong with you. He doesn't deserve you. I know you will be just fine without him. Yes. My God is still on the throne. He is with me. My fight is his. He shall fight for me. That's the spirit. I hope your husband is okay with me moving in with you. Of course. He has no problem. Don't worry. I will only stay for a few weeks. I don't want to be a burden to you and your husband. You can never be a burden to us. You can stay as long as you want. Thank you very much Kate dear. Don't thank me sis. What are sisters for? A few moments later. What is this Kate? Why is your house in this state? I thought you said your husband is in town. Or doesn't he live here with you? Of course he lives here. Where do you think he is staying? He is gone to work. So you mean your husband will come home to this? Well, I try my best. It's the kids. They keep me busy. I don't get the time to clean always. Stop using your kids as an excuse, Kate. That's what most women do. They use their children as an excuse for not doing house chores. I know children can be such a handful, but you can try and keep your home tidy. You said your children keep you busy, right? Now tell me, don't you get time to eat? So you see, the children are not an excuse. You must keep your home clean. You can't let your husband come back from work tired to meet his home like this. Or do you want to drive your husband into the arms of another woman? But how can an untidy home drive a man to another woman? Or have you forgotten what your husband did to you? 
Your home is the most organized and clean house I have ever seen. Yet your husband cheated on you. A man will cheat if he wants to cheat. Nothing can change that. Aish, what have I done now? I'm really sorry sis. I didn't mean to say that, it's just a slip of tongue. Sorry big sis. That's okay. Let me just help you clean this lounge. I just can't stay in this dirt. You know I'm mysophobic. Ah, thank you my sweet sister. A few hours later. Wow sis, you have turned my house into a palace. Thank you so much. Don't thank me. Try and keep your house like this always. Yes madam, I have heard you. Let me now go and clean your kitchen and make dinner. Or do you want to cook for your husband yourself? We wouldn't mind you cooking. Different hands, different taste. Look at this lazy woman. A few moments later. Hi baby, you are welcome. Thank you my love, but wait a minute. Is this my house, or I'm in another man's house? Because my house is usually not this clean. What do you mean by that? Are you trying to insult me? How can I insult you? The mother of my children. Never. Anyway, my sister is here. You don't need to tell me. I can smell a different aroma in this house. I guess she is in the kitchen. Right. You are right. She is in the kitchen. Let me go and greet her then. Okay baby. Let me take your briefcase inside. Hello wifey. Hello Michael. You are welcome. So happy to see you. Sorry, I mean I shouldn't have. It's okay Michael. It's just a hug. There is nothing wrong with that. Thank you. You just arrived today and your sister has already loaded you with lots of work. Oh no. She had already cleaned when I got here. I'm only helping her with dinner. If you say so, because I know my wife very well. You are welcome once again wifey. Thank you very much Michael. Two days later. Bonnie my friend, I'm very sorry about what you went through. I never thought Nicholas could do this to you. That's okay. It's all part of life. Life is a journey full of lessons. Every day we learn from these lessons. But why did you decide to go to your sister's house? We spoke about coming to my place. She insisted that I come stay with her for some time. I didn't want to hurt her feelings. You know she can be unnecessarily emotional. That is okay, but you know you are always welcome to my house anytime you want to. Of course I know. Even if you don't want me in your house, you will have to say yes to me because you don't have any choice. A few moments later. You are welcome my love. Thank you very much honey. You are welcome Michael. Thank you very much Bonnie. I got this beautiful necklace for you Bonnie. Since you arrived here, you are always busy helping us, cooking for us, cleaning, and so on. This is my small way of showing appreciation. And what did you buy for me? I didn't forget you my dear wife. I bought you a chocolate. Seriously, you mean you bought a necklace for my sister, and you bought ordinary chocolate for me? Are you being serious right now? I think you can have the necklace Kate. I don't really need it. No, I don't want it. He bought it in your name, so keep it. I'm out of here, I don't even want to sit here. I think my sister is not happy about this gift. Please go and calm her down. I'm so sorry about how my wife, your sister spoke to you. There is no need to apologize. Just go and calm her down. Kate, what was the meaning of that awful attitude you just displayed out there? Do not ask me that question. Ever since my sister got here, I've seen a change in your behavior Michael. You will stay in the hall with her watching movies, and come to bed late. She is the first person you ask about when you return from work. You have suddenly forgotten to ask about your children when you return from work. And today you have the audacity to buy her that expensive diamond necklace, and you bought mere chocolate for me. Are you married to me, or my sister? Don't tell me you are jealous of your own sister. Yes I'm jealous. Who wouldn't be, when her husband gives all his attention to her sister, instead of her? I just hope you are not having a secret affair with my own blood sister. I can see you have gone crazy. How can you say that about your husband and your own sister? Even if you don't trust me, don't you trust your own sister? Trust you say, I don't trust any one of you. After all, it's mostly those we trust that end up betraying us. I will not stay here and listen to your nonsense. Yes, go, go to her as always. Whatever is done in the dark will eventually come to light. One week later. My friend, I think my sister and my husband are having an affair. 
Why am I not surprised? I warned you about allowing your sister into your home. But you were busy preaching. Family relationship with me. Now see what's happening. You know she and her husband just got divorced. She was heartbroken. I couldn't have left her to deal with the pains alone. Divorced and single. How could you allow a beautiful single lady like your sister to stay with you in your home? How would I have known my own blood sister could betray me like this? You don't go about trusting people just like that. Now I'm confused. I don't know what to do. It's simple. Just ask your sister out of your house. Without any evidence, I can't just ask her out. In that case, you must keep an eye on their every movements, their phone calls and so on. You are right. I will do just that. I will never allow my sister to take over my husband and my home. Never. The next day. Michael, are you not going for lunch break today? Food is the last thing on my mind. Why? What's going on? Lee, my house is on fire. As I'm talking to you, my wife has refused to talk to me for the past three days. Is it because of the jewelry issue you told me about? Correct. My wife has taken this issue too far and I don't like it at all. But do you blame her? The poor woman is only trying to protect her marriage. By not talking to me and giving her sister a bad attitude. Well, I've decided to talk to my sister-in-law about my feelings for her, like you suggested. I can't talk to my wife about it because she is already suspecting us of having an affair. Try and find a best way to solve this problem before it escalates into something serious. You wouldn't want to lose your marriage and destroy your home simply because you have feelings for your wife's sister. It's different if you are even having an affair with her. You are right. I will a message to her to meet me. I need to solve this problem once and for all. Hi Kate. There you are. I was coming to your room. There is something I need to discuss with you. Is it very important? Can't it wait? As you can see I'm on my way out. No, it can't wait. It is very important to me. Okay, shoot, I'm all ears. Kate, your attitude towards me these days is questionable. You get angry with anything I do in this house. Have I done something wrong? I don't understand what you are talking about. If this is why you stopped me, then please, it's not that important to me. If it's about the jewelry, I have already given it back to Michael. I told him I don't need it, so he should give it to you. The last thing I want to do is to cause problem in my sister's marriage. Who are you to tell my husband what to do? Are you the one to tell him what to buy for me? Please Bonnie, just stay out of my marriage. Stay far away. Bonnie, has it gotten to the point of you calling me just by my name? Is that not your name? Or how do you want me to call me? Okay, Her Highness, excuse me. I have better things to do with my time. Who is that texting me? Michael, why is he texting me? Hi Bonnie, please meet me at Joe's at 5 p.m. There is something urgent I need to talk to you about. What does Michael want to talk to me about? Anyway, I will find out when I get there. I just pray all is well. So my suspicions are right. They are having a secret affair. They are meeting at Joe's. No problem, we shall see tonight. A few hours later at Joe's restaurant. Michael. Is everything okay? I have not been myself since I got your message to meet you here. Is everything alright? Not really. Everything is not okay. But before I tell you why I asked you to meet me here, I would like to apologize on behalf of my wife for her bad attitude towards you lately. Please forgive her. Don't worry about Kate. I hold nothing against her. After all, she is my sister. You are very kind. Your kindness is one of the reasons why I'm attracted me to you. What? What are you saying? Yes Bonnie, I have feelings for you. Feelings? How? When? I mean when did all this feelings start? It started the first day I set my eye on you, during your sister's marriage introduction. That's six years ago, and you still have same feelings for me even till today. Yes Bonnie. Aish. No, is Kate aware of this? No, I've not told her. But if I may ask, why are you even having feelings for me? Your beauty, your simplicity. Your prayer life, your cleanliness, and your kindness, all these draw me closer to you. First of all, I want you to know that, there is a thin line between love and lust. What you are feeling might be lust and not love. Secondly, you made a mistake by not talking to your wife about this feeling. It would have made you feel better. Kate my sister is a very good woman. She can be messy at times, but it's something you can help her deal with. Also. It's a sin to lust after someone's wife. I thought you and your husband are divorced. 
Because your sister told me so. No we are not. I'm still his wife. Then why did you leave him? I didn't leave him. He was arrested by the police. Arrested? Why? What did he do? It is a long story. When Nicholas and I got married, he lost his job. He searched for job for almost a year but to no avail. He was about to give up, but because of the love I had for him, I couldn't help it seeing him getting stressed. So I decided to help him. Flashback. Sweetheart, it's okay. You don't need to stress yourself. Everything will be fine. When will everything be okay? Things are getting bad. How long will I come to you for money? How long will you continue providing for this family? I'm the man of this house, and not you. But I'm not complaining. But I am. Well, sweetheart, I do have some savings. Also when our parents died, they gave us some jewelry. We will sell them, and add it to my savings for you to start your own business, since getting a job is not working. Really? You will do this for me? Not for you, but for us. Wow, thank you very much my love. This is why I love you. I love you more. Six months later. Congratulations to us. The business deal went through. Now there is money my love. I'm so excited for us. God, we thank you. This can only be you. Come and have a seat. There is something I have for you. Okay, sweetheart. My beautiful wife. You have been a very helpful wife. God bless you. Come on, sweetheart. You are making me blush. My love. I cannot pay you for all that you have done for me. You contributed greatly to this success of mine. So here is a blank check. I've already signed it. Fill in any amount you need. It's for you. You deserve it. Sweetheart, I don't think it's necessary. Keep the check like I said before, this is our success. Why are you paying me off? I'm not paying you off my love. But please, don't reject this check. Please. Well, if you insist. I will take it. I insist my dear wife. Okay sweetheart. Thank you. Now, go and get ready. We are going out for a dinner. Yes. Thank you so much sweetheart. One year later. I really like it here. Anytime we come here, I feel so peaceful. Yeah, it is a very nice place. So what's the matter? You look down. You know the problem already. I need not to repeat myself. Well, I've told you what to do. But it seems like you don't want that solution to your problem. So I wonder why you are complaining. Just meet with this lady. All your problems will be over. I just don't want to hurt Bonnie. But you need a child and she is not giving you one. You need to choose between her happiness or you having a child. You know I need a child. I'm not getting any younger. Then it's simple. Just accept to date Anna. I'm sure she will give you a child. If you say so. Just organize for us to meet. The next day. Nicholas, where are you coming from at this time of the night? Are you asking me as your child, or servant? I'm asking you as your wife. I'm tired of your disgusting behavior. Yesterday you came back home smelling of feminine perfume. The other time you didn't come home at all. What has come over you? Come home for what? Is not as if I will be welcomed by children. You have refused to give me a child. If you want me to come home on time, or not sleep out, just give me a child. That's it. Am I God that gives children? Do you know how long it took before God gave Sarah a child? Is your husband's name Abraham? So you see, you and Sarah are not the same. Now if you may excuse me. I'm very tired, and need to sleep. Three weeks later. Aaron, why don't you sell this land and invest the money into something else? You know I can't sell this land. My late father gave this land to me with love. Okay, if you says so. So what were you saying over the phone? Why are you still with Nicholas upon all the ill treatment from him? What do you mean by why am I still with him? Is he not my husband? Does he see you as his wife? Obviously not, because if he does, he wouldn't be treating you like this. Do you still have that blank check he gave you? Yes I do. Perfect. Just withdraw all his money and leave him. Since when did you become a bad friend with such bad advice? Since the day your husband became heartless and ungrateful. The Bible says in 1 Peter 3 verse 9. Don't repay evil with evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and he will grant you his blessing. Okay Sister Teresa, let's go to my house. 
We will continue there. A few moments later. Nicholas, who do we have here? Oh, you mean Anna. Her name is Anna. She is my guest. She will be staying here with us from now on. What do you mean by she will be staying with us? Staying with us is what? A house help. As your co-wife, if you care to know, she is pregnant with my baby. Pregnant. You heard me right. Nicholas, you are very wicked. Upon everything we have been through, everything that I've done for you, you decided to do this to me. I leave everything to God. Let him be our judge. But I want you to know that I will not leave this house for you and your side chick. If that is what you are thinking. That's your business. After all, no one is chasing you out. Two months later. What are you doing here, Tony? Do you want us to get caught? Nicholas's wife is at home. What do you want? Why are you taking so long to get his signature on the check and the house ownership documents? Please hurry up before your pregnancy becomes visible. The moment we get the check, we will empty his bank account. Then you and I and our baby will relocate. I hope he doesn't suspect that the pregnancy is not his. Not at all. Don't worry. One more thing. The police is after us. The royal house is looking for their money. So you must hurry with this assignment, so that we can relocate. No problem. I will get it done fastest. Just go before we get caught. Okay my baby. I love you. I love you too. So this is how human beings can be cruel. How can Tony do this evil against his own friend? Nicholas is happy for a pregnancy that's not his. And they are planning on emptying his bank account. I must do something. I can't let them take away all the money we worked so hard for. The other day I heard Nicholas saying on the phone that he got about half a million dollars in his account. Oh yes. I know what to do. The next day. Good day. My name is Detective Frank Johnson. Hi Detective, how can I help you? I'm looking for Miss Anna. I heard she is your wife. She and her boyfriend Tony Jakes are wanted for the crime of stealing huge amount of money from the royal house. How is that possible? My friend Tony and Anna dating. Mr. Nicholas, please where is your wife Anna? She is under arrest. She is not my wife. I'm even looking for her. She has withdrew all the money in my account. I never knew she was a thief. I'm sorry Mr. Nicholas. You have to come with me to the police station. You are under arrest. Until you prove that Miss Anna is not your wife, you will be in our custody. I have a wedded wife. She is the one standing there. Madam. Is he telling the truth? Is he your husband? I'm very sorry detective. I'm not his wife. I'm only his domestic worker. Honey what are you saying? Please tell him the truth. What truth? Please you are not my husband. Shall we go Mr. Nicholas? Trust me detective. I'm not an accomplice. I'm innocent. Present day. So that is my story. I denied my husband because I want him to have a reality check behind bars. I love my husband, and I don't want to divorce him. I'm planning on going back to get him out because I found out three days ago that I'm pregnant. Pregnant. Wow. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Thank you very much. Oh, you are a very kind and loving woman. So is my sister. Please try and understand her. She is a lovely person. Please promise me you will love her forever. Yes, I promise. I have caught you too. Shame on you both. Shame. Honey please, stop it. You are creating a scene here. I want the whole world to see how shameless you people are. Shame on you. How can you have an affair with my own sister? Kate calm down. It's not what you think. You know I can't hurt you. Your husband too is a good man. Just keep quiet you snake. You are a home wrecker. Just because your marriage didn't work. You want to destroy mine. Shame on you. Shame. Everyone come and see them. Shameless people. I want you out of my house first thing tomorrow morning. That's okay. Just calm down. In fact, I will move out tonight. I don't want to be the cause of problem in your home. Yes. Move out. Just go nonsense. Michael, please excuse me. I need to go and pack my bags. I hope you are okay now. Your sister has left the house. I do not care. She is evil. A very bad sister for that matter. I recorded my conversation with your sister. I've sent it to you. Go and listen to it when you come to your senses. 
After listening, you will then ask yourself if between you and your sister who is evil. Whatever. The next day. I'm so happy you are here my love. I'm here to get you out Nicholas. I love you and I have decided to forgive you. I cannot divorce you, because I love you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Another thing. I'm the one who withdrew the money from your account, not Anna. I overheard Tony and Anna planning to empty your account. So I used the check you gave me, and withdrew all the money before they could get their hands on. I also took the house ownership document. So everything is fine. Thank God. I'm very sorry for all I put you through. Please forgive me. I love you Nicholas. That's why I agreed to marry you. For better and for worse. One last news. I'm 10 weeks pregnant with your child. Congratulations to us. Really? God I thank you. Thank you my love. This is the best news I've ever heard. Congratulations to us. Yes. This is why we should always learn to wait for God's time. Because he makes all things beautiful in his time. How could I have allowed my emotions to take the best part of me? I feel terrible after listening to Michael's recording. So my sister is not evil. What have I done? How am I going to face her now? I really embarrassed her. I pray she forgives me. The end. Emotions can be very dangerous if not controlled. When we act on our emotions, it can destroy us. We must learn to control it. Another thing, we must learn to wait for God to act on our behalf. His time is always the best. One last advice. Husband remain faithful to your wives, wives remain faithful to your husbands. Let there be peace and harmony in your homes. Thank you all for watching. God bless you.